Hi guys, I am back today to share with you the before and after on our family room makeover. So today I'm gonna to be telling you how much I spent, everything that I did on this family room make makeover, and showing you all of the before and after pictures. I'm very excited about this. Let's start with a look at the before. So before I gave this room a makeover, it had a huge archway opening to our front door. As you can see, I put built-ins over that to make a huge entertainment center with tons of storage. Over the last eight years, we have barely used this room and I've always wanted it to be a great family room where everybody can hang out and I could hide away all of the kids' toys. I am so glad I finally did this. It turned out great. Let me give you all of the details. There's tons of videos showing tons of DIY projects from this makeover on my channel. But today is just an overview of all of the projects, the cost breakdown, and the changes that this room has been through over the years. Here's a look at what this room was like before I did the demo on that archway. So you can see my foyer, my front door right there, and through there is my dining room. That open concept made it hard to hide all of the toys we had in this room. So I wanted to turn this into a real family room with a gaming console and storage for all of these toys and bookshelves and just a good place to hang out together without letting the noise from this room go to the rest of the house. I started this family room makeover by removing the archway. So I was careful not to remove any structural framing for that room, nothing that's supporting the house was removed just the bumped out archway. I have a whole video showing exactly how I did that if you happen to have an archway in your house. After I completely removed that archway, I then framed in the opening with two by four studs and hung drywall on both sides of the wall. I also put soundproofing between those two areas so that any noise from the TV in the family room is not gonna spill into the foyer. For that framing, the drywall, and everything, everything that went along with that, and the soundproofing, I think I probably spent about $150 on that part of this remodel. I have a short video with some beginner tips for installing drywall that you should check out if you're gonna to wanna to start a drywall project soon. After that wall was complete on both sides, I moved on to removing the flooring that was in that room. So this was glued down engineered hardwood flooring and it had been damaged during Hurricane Harvey a few years before this, so it had to go. But that glue was probably the hardest part of the project to deal with, physically at least. And of course, I have a separate video again showing exactly my tips for removing glued down engineered hardwood flooring on a concrete subfloor with four or five different ways for you to remove it, depending on how hard it is to get your flooring up. This part of the project was all labor, so it was free. Once I removed all of that flooring, I was able to install the new tile. So I found this beautiful tile at Floor & Decor. So I'm assuming that most of their locations will have this tile. It is an extra large, large format tile. So it does make it harder to install. I have a separate video showing why that tile is so much harder to install and some tips for doing it. But it does look beautiful and I love this tile. So I still highly recommend it. I spent around $600 for the tile, the thin set, and the grout in this room. I also repainted this whole room. So in my house, I figured out that if I put an eggshell white on the ceiling, it brightens up any room. I don't have that much texture, so that works on my ceiling. It's not great for every ceiling, but I have another video about that and a look at some of the other ceilings in my house as a comparison. I think I spent about $120 on three gallons of paint for this room. So that, that's the walls, the wainscoting, and the ceiling. That does not include the paint that I put on the built-ins. Now, these built-ins are gigantic. It is 15 feet wide by nine feet high. And I put tons of plywood, tons of dimensional lumber, tons of molding, and a lot of extra work into these built-ins. So this was a lot of time and a lot of the budget for this project. So I'm thinking I spent between $800 and $900 total on the built-ins. And that includes all of that wood I just mentioned, plus the soft closed drawer slides that I used, the cabinet hardware that I used, the soft closed cabinet hinges that I used, and the paint on that project, all of the caulk and everything. So between eight and $900, you couldn't get custom built-ins for that big of an area for that kind of money if you hired somebody else. I 
For this room makeover total, I saved thousands and thousands of dollars. That's why I love DIY. But it does take a lot of time, guys. As you can see, I work alone on most of my DIY projects. I would say that on everything I've shown you in this video, I probably spent about 200 hours worth of my time on this project. And since everybody always underestimates everything, that's probably an underestimate. And I even built the coffee table, the side table, and the cat tree that are in this room. So I'm constantly working on DIY projects. DIY and remodeling is my full-time job. I support myself through a blog and this YouTube channel. So I get to spend a lot more time on DIY and room remodels than the average person probably ever would. Now, drum roll, guys, if you have been paying attention to the costs that I've been mentioning, we spent around $1,800 total for this family room makeover. That is well worth it for us. We are in here every day now and loving this room. Now, here's another fun look at all of the before and after pictures for this family room remodel. Let me know what you think about this makeover or ask me any questions you want in the comments below. I do still need to put something on the wall above this couch. It's a big empty space. So stay tuned for that. I'll put a link to the playlist with all of the DIY videos from this room makeover in the description below. Check those out. And soon I'll be making a lot more before and after reveals on rooms, including the cost and how much time I think everything took. So stay tuned. Bye guys.